In the previous videos, we have discussed about the preferred state of a reinforced concrete sections, where the sections is preferably to be undergoing ductile failure instead of brittle failure. This is achievable by ensuring that the steel yields before the concrete reaches its compression limits. The state where the concrete undergo compressive limit and the steel yield at the same time is determined by these equations by substituting the relevant limits into it. The positions of the neutral axis has to be less than 0 0.617 so that the reinforced member undergo a ductile failure. As a safety measure, Eurocode set the limit to be lower than the value which is equals to 0 0.45 times the depth of the section. This brings us to the topic that we need to discuss in this video regarding the balance section. The balance section is referring to a state where the concrete and the steel are reaching their limits at the same time at the ultimate limit state. For a singly reinforced section, the x balance will be equals to 0.45d as indicated by Eurocode. With that, we need to determine the response of the sections under the balance state. First, we refer to the principle of static equilibrium. Based on the stress plot diagram given here, for the static state of sigma fx equals to zero, the forces in concrete will be equals to the tensile forces in reinforcement bar, as indicated in this equation. The compressive force of the concrete is a function of the design stress times the effective area of the concrete that undergo compression. The area is a function of the width of the sections times the effective height of the compressive region, which is 0 0.8 times the X balance. The X balance as defined by Eurocode is 0.45D. Substitute the relevant equations into the equation here. And the forces generated in the steel is determined by the design yield strength of the steel, which taking into account of the partial factor of safety of the steel and the area of the steel bar. Reorganize these equations, you obtain this equation. This set the limit of the maximum amount of reinforcement bar in the sections so that the reinforced concrete sections will undergo ductile response. Next, we determine the moment under the balance state. It is obtained by multiplying the forces of the concrete with the lever arm under the balance state. The equations for the compressive force of the concrete is given here. And the lever arm under the balance state will be equals to 0.82D for a singly reinforced section. This gives us the moment equation here, which if rearranged into the factor k, it should be equals to 0 0.167. This factor k equals to 0 0.167 sets the boundary between the singly reinforced and doubly reinforced sections. When the K is equals or less than 0 0.167, singly reinforced sections is assumed. 
if the k is more than 0.167, doubly reinforced sections will be required. All this is determined on the basis of the x balance is equals to 0.45d.